David Farley here. Here's your morning announcements for Tuesday, September 15th. Hi, I'm John Owen Delavante. Here are some dress code reminders. You need to have your shirt tucked in at all times and you need to wear a belt. Also remember that your skirts and shorts should be the appropriate length. If you have not already done it, remember to download the Stop It app to report issues anonymously. Our school code is NCS Eagles. Hello, I'm Jacob Pettit. If you have misplaced something, check the Lost and Found, which is located outside the Spirit Store. It is already quickly filling up, so please label all your student items, uniforms, jackets, lunchboxes, etc., so they can be returned. Any students who are interested in being on the bowling team need to contact Mr. Carlucci as soon as possible. What's up, guys? It's Chase. Make sure to wear your face mask at all times throughout the day, and that needs to cover your mouth and nose. Also, social distance when around other students or teachers. Wash your hands frequently and use the hand sanitizer. Also, make sure you have your student ID with you at all times. If you lose it, please report it to Ms. Daw in the high school office quickly. Hi, I'm Josh Alexander. Please share your photos of the school year by using the Yearbook Snap app, which is available for iPhone or Android. And simply search for Nashville Christian School and enter the code EaglesPick to begin uploading. Thank you for helping us create a great yearbook. What's up guys, Andrew here. Students, please do not use the outside door behind the gym after school hours when there is an athletic event going on in the gym. Please enter and support the game that we are hosting by coming through the ticket gate. Students still do not have to pay to enter, but you need to have a ticket so we can monitor the numbers that come to the game. Thank you and go Eagles. What's up Eagles, I'm Jack Stolfield. If you can't make it to a game or tickets are restricted, you can view many of our home games on our NCS Media and Broadcasting YouTube channel at ncsbroadcast.com. Check the latest weekly announcements email to see the schedule of every live stream for the first nine weeks. Hello, this is Joseph. Please remember to use the AUXS safety app every day and complete the health survey before coming to campus. Once you have been cleared to be on campus, make sure to show your green pass to your first block teacher. What's up guys, my name is Miss Brian. If you don't know me, I teach English in the high school and I'm also head of the international program here at NCS. And that's what I'm here to talk to you guys about today is just a brief overview of the international program. And then I am going to introduce the trip for 2022. So real quick, for those of you who are just unaware or if you're new, the international program next year will be taking two trips. We usually take one per summer, but this summer is for obvious reasons got bumped to next summer. So first we will be going to Australia and New Zealand for 15 days. And then we will be going to Paris, Florence and Rome for nine days. So both of those tours still have spots open. If you're interested in either one, please come see me. I will get that information to you. But then in 2022, I am so excited to introduce the trip to Austria, Germany, and Switzerland. And guys, one reason why I'm so excited about this is because this was my first international trip when I was in high school. I was 16, we went to the Netherlands, Germany, and Austria, and it sparked that international travel bug in me that will never go out. And I am so excited to be able to introduce you guys to all of the things that made me fall in love with international travel. So a little bit about this trip. It's 10 days long. We start off in Austria and we go to their biggest cities of Vienna and Salzburg. And then we go on to Munich in Germany and we will tour Munich. We'll see the Olympic Stadium in, music in Munich, which is a big deal. We will then go to the town of Dachau, which has the Dachau concentration camp there, which is a very humbling experience. I've been there twice and each time I feel like I learn a little more. And from there is the main reason why I'm so excited about this trip is we go back to a castle called Neuschwanstein. Well, I go back to, you guys will experience it for the first time. I am so excited about this, that castle stole my heart when I was there in high school and I am ready to be back and to see it again and to take all of the pictures. And then from there, we are going to go to Switzerland. We're gonna to go to Lucerne. And in Lucerne, we're gonna to tour around the city and then we're gonna take a boat ride across Lake Lucerne. And then we're gonna go up a cog railway into the Swiss Alps, which 
If you ever get a chance, ask Mr. Bishop. He did this exact tour with one of his daughters a few years ago, and he said it was just incredible. So I'm definitely looking forward to that part as well. And then we're gonna end the tour in the towns of Freiburg and Heidelberg, and we will see another castle called Heidelberg Castle. And there's a lot that I left out. I can't go through the whole itinerary. I'm actually gonna do that at the meeting. So we have a meeting on September 24th at 6 p.m. And this is gonna be an informational meeting for you, for your parents or your guardians. And I'm just going to tell you more in depth about the trip. I'm gonna tell you how much it costs. I'm gonna tell you some logistics that I just really am not gonna cover in this video. So it is going to be a virtual meeting because just, you know, right now it's just a little safer to do virtual meetings. So what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna look out for an RSVP link from me. And once you go and click on that link and you RSVP to the meeting, it is going to send you the link for the Zoom meeting. It's gonna be on Zoom. And I really like this format because it means you don't have to come back to school. Your parents don't have to necessarily rush from work. You guys can go home. You can be almost ready for dinner and just have the meeting, which will be about 30 or 40 minutes, just depending, okay? So remember, September 24th at 6 p.m., and once you RSVP, you will be sent the Zoom link. You cannot get the link without RSVPing, so make sure that you keep an eye out for that link. And if you don't see it, you need to come see me. If you have any questions about any of the international trips, come see me. I am in the middle school in room 185. So one, actually two more things that I wanna tell you about the trip for 2022. If you sign up before the end of October, you get $300 off the tour. And then also, if you are a repeat traveler, which I already have a few, and that counts the my students traveling with me next year in 2021, if you are a repeat traveler, you get $100 off on top of that. So there's a lot of incentive to go to this, guys. And I'm so excited. I hope that you'll come with me. And if you have questions, let me know. And I'm so excited, guys. Thanks. What is up, everybody? Andy Nguyen here with the sports. Today, high school volleyball hosts Clarksville Academy, junior varsity at 4.30 and varsity at 5.30. High school golf versus DCA and Columbia Academy at Harpeth Hills at 4.30. High school girls soccer versus Isa Harding at 5 p.m. On Thursday, high school volleyball at USN, junior varsity at 4.30 p.m., varsity at 5.30 p.m. High school girls soccer versus Montgomery Central at 5 p.m. And on Friday, high school football has a home game against Columbia Academy. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. and it's preschool night. And high school volleyball plays in the Back to the Borough Tournament at Seagull High School on Friday and Saturday. Congratulations to the Eagles football team on their big win on BGA. Let's take a look at a couple of highlights of the game. <laughs> Matt McClary in the shotgun. He's got Jamal King with him. We send in motion. And we're going to cross the middle of the pass. It's complete. We're going to counter. 20, 15, 10, 5. Give Jalen Marsh 6. Touchdown, Eagles. We counter with almost the same play and give him 6 large ones. Macy in for her fourth attempt. Matt McClary to hold for the first female player in National Christian history. She's had three on the night. Does she have four? The staff to kick. Ladies and gentlemen, give her four extras. She knocks it down to Charlotte Avenue. Hi, my name is Aiden Trammell. I'm here today with the Bible verse from Jeremiah 29, 11. God says, I know the plans I have for you, plans for you to prosper and not to harm you, plans for a future and to give you hope. I'm Kai, and today we're going to do the prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for all that you have given us. Please pray for all the families uh, that have COVID and have lost uh, so their family members because of COVID. And please let us have a great school week. Amen. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This is the end of our video. Make sure you...
smash that subscribe button. Turn on that post notification so you're notified when our next live stream is.